Good morning, y'all. I'm going to talk kind of quietly because there might be some folks around here that are still just getting up. It's just a little after 8 o'clock, so I'm up, showered, and hazel walked by 8 o'clock. But I just thought I would show you something here on the community. Now, y'all, I try to know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Now, you know I did property management for 17 years. Now, let's see. Let's start with this. Now, this looks like one of the carrier things that a scooter might be attached to on the back of your car. I've been here over six months, and this has been here the whole time. Now, secondly, there's a little click-clack couch. This has been here for a very long time. And this is our newest piece of trash. Now, I understand, y'all, that senior citizens, they can't lift and tote this stuff but somebody was strong enough to bring it outside. There's a dumpster that these items should be put into so they can be hauled off. We've complained, nothing has happened. Now y'all, I've got one word for this stuff, ghetto. This is something you would see on a property that was totally ghetto. Keep in mind, a lot of people pay $1,800 a month of rent. Now, this enclosure right here is for the contractors that are renovating the apartments. You would think that somebody would put that trash either in the dumpster or hide it behind this netting. But no, they're not. So anyway, I'm gonna take y'all down here. Um, they have started building a little dog park, which will be awesome for little dogs like Mariah, who's young, owned by a senior citizen, and he can't let her run, she runs off. And he certainly can't run. Now you can see from this end of the back of the property all the way down there is quite a long ways. You can also see, and I've talked about before, we have not nearly enough parking. I don't understand why they don't take some of this, like this portion that is before the little dog park and make some extra parking. But what do I know? I've only done this for 17 years. What they're gonna do right here, um, I have no clue. They're probably maybe gonna lay some more concrete to put these terrible unpainted benches in. I know I'm being critical, y'all, but that's the whole point of this video. Now, we're going to walk down here, and there are some very nice guys who were putting this dog park up. I'm sorry if I'm shaking, y'all. Um, I'm still not walking completely smooth, but getting there. Now, you see we have some other benches. Um, I never really see anybody sitting down here. I don't know why that fairly nice table is under that tree. Maybe the landscapers moved it. So y'all can see this is the beginning of the dog park. So it's going to be fairly large, you guys. And there are two things that I want to point out to y'all that I have learned from experience. I have had 
doggy areas on some of my properties. Not many, y'all, because way back when I was doing property management, a lot of properties did not allow pets, but now most all of them do. Okay, one good thing about this is, and I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a gate right here, and there's like a little hallway. There's a big dog over across the wall. And then if y'all can see, there's another gate. Now this is a good thing because if you enter here to take your pup in, this extra space and door keeps you from accidentally letting someone else's dog escape. So that's a very good safety feature, y'all. Now there's two things. I just saw Terry, he was on his way back from walking Mariah, and we were talking about the little dog park. And um, they have one little bench over there. They may put another one in, I don't know. But what Terry was saying was, that they're going to start putting in the rock. Okay, I really object to that. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning. What are they doing here? Making a dog park. Oh, that yeah. Oh, that's probably a good idea. It's a very good idea. Y'all, I'm talking to a lady who lives here in the community, and I won't show her on the video because she may not want me to. <laughs> Do you not want me to? I'd be glad to. Oh, she said she'd be glad to. <laughs> now tell me your name, sweetie. My name is Inga. Inga. Yes. Very nice name. Thank now, you. Inga is out here early in the morning a lot of times. And she comes out here and sits a lot of times and reads. Okay. So we have that in common. Yeah, Aside yeah. being very Getting mature. The sunshine. And she wants to be in the sunshine. That's right. We're so blessed. Do you know, Inga, that we're going to have cold weather the next couple of weeks? No, I didn't. Yep. That's what the weather says. We're going to be down at night near freezing. My goodness. I know. So, y'all, we don't always have great weather. Well, thank you, Inga, for being on my video. You're welcome. Thank oh, you for including me. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> There's two things, y'all, about the dog park that um, I've learned from experience. Now, let me move so Inga can get by me. You're welcome. Um, Terry said they're going to start putting down rock. Okay. To me, that's not good. When your animal goes to the bathroom on rocks, you better hope that that's good, solid poop. Because if it's not, it gets down in the rocks, it smells and it deteriorates and it's yucky. Now what I have always used on my properties is not bark, but mulch. And I have used this at home. I always had a patch of mulch for my dogs to go potty on. You can reach down, you can get not only the waste, but you can also get the mulch. It makes it so much more sanitary. So that's one thing. Y'all know that a while back, Hazel got fleas really bad. And it was because she was out here and I walked her through the grass, which she's not crazy about, but I did it anyway. And she got fleas really bad. Now, she got them because a lot of folks out here, or I will say a few, okay, because I don't know that. But there has to be a few people who do not use flea protection. And that's where Hazel got her fleas. So, I'm not sure that we are going to be using this doggy park, but it would be 
a suggestion that when the notice goes out to everybody that the dog park is open. And also, I would put a sign on the fence that says, please make sure for your dog and the others to use flea protection. Now, I don't know, y'all. Maybe they are going to put a sign up. Maybe they are going to put it in the newsletter. I'll let y'all know if they do. So now I'm going to take you down to the end. Couple more benches. And Inga is smart because she sits on her walker and it's padded. <laughs> and there she is with her mug of coffee or tea and her book. We have some beautiful trees out here, y'all. Now, this area all the way up and down has been very neglected and it's full of weeds. Hopefully, they're gonna do something about that. At least some nice ground cover would be good. Now, some ground cover attracts a lot of bees. Now, here's another example of something that I would never let happen. Now, this is on the sidewalk, like this, and I can guarantee you nobody sits here, and here's why. Can y'all see that? It's bird crap. Now, this chair and little table really could be used if it was cleaned up and put somewhere else. And now you can see, I'm not gonna get this lady in the video because she might not like it. Now this chair, I cleaned up a little bit and drug it down here so people could use it. And do they use it? Yeah, so maybe one of these days when I have the energy, I'll clean that one up, bring it down here too. So, another big area back here, and I'm hoping they're going to kind of pretty that up. Right now, it's just weeds, really. So let's go this way. Now there's a table right there, and I have cleaned that up before. Somebody spilled a mug of coffee on it. And then we've got a couple of these little chairs, but they're pretty much broken up and not usable. So y'all, after 17 years of doing this, I just shared with you a few things that I would not do on my property. But all in all, I guess it is a nice property. But why would people want to pay for a gym, a swimming pool, and a big rec room that is barely used? The money could be better spent with more parking. At least that is my humble opinion. She's giggling back here. She's got the prettiest silver hair, y'all. This is a trash can, which is good to have trash cans around your properties. And this... It's too close to the seats. It's too close to the seat? Yeah. The, you mean the doggy yeah. thing? Yeah. They should put it on the other side. Now you can... Can y'all see that? It's got little painting on it. At one time, it was beautiful, I'm sure. So there's the trash can. But here's the doggy... Um, waste station I will see and it's good they provide bags and they have a bag to toss it in which they do empty I know that because I come out here almost every day with Hazel but like the lady just said the doggy station really could be put like over here and it wouldn't be so close to the benches and the table where people sit. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to make this little video for you and let you see what's going on here. And I love y'all, and thank you so much for watching, and do something fun today. Bye now.